Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. These are some of my favourite clamps. They're from Axminster and they work great with the dog holes. I've only got two of them and that's because they're around £30 each. But I do have lots of these Irwin clamps and these cost about £12 a pair. I've seen people modify them to work in the bench so I thought I'd have a go. First I need to remove that end. It looked like you could just remove that cover but you couldn't. So I sawed about halfway through and then the head just snapped off. It's been moulded on and there's a hole through the bar so I just got a punch to punch through that and then I could knock the remaining plastic off. On the other end of the bar there's another hole with a kind of split ring and that's to stop the actual clamp bit from coming off accidentally but I want to take it off as I don't want to accidentally melt it while I'm bending it. I use an Axminster clamp to work out how long I want the bend to be, leaving it a little longer to accommodate the twist and the bend I'm going to put in. Then I can take the blowtorch and heat it up. This took a couple of minutes so I thought I'd check my Instagram. If you're not following me there's a link below the video. There's also a link to all the tools I use. When the bar got nice and hot I got some pliers on and put a bend in it. I now rearranged the bar in the vise so the short bit was in the jaws and then I could get the blowtorch back on and heating up again. When it got hot again I got some kind of these slip joint pliers on and then I could put a twist on it. Sorry for the camera angle, initially I don't think I was planning to stand there. But then like normal I just got caught up in the moment and made the bend. I stuck it outside for 10 minutes to cool down and then I could get the handle put on which is a little fiddly, I probably should have cleaned the bar up first. So I took this handle off so it wouldn't get too hot but actually I found the bar didn't get hot that end at all so I made a second one and I just left the handle on and that was fine. With this first one I'm just going to put a nut and bolt through that so I don't accidentally pull the handle off. If you're going to do it I would say leave the handle on but just keep checking to make sure that bar doesn't get too hot at the end. So there's not much to demonstrate really. It goes through the bench, down and tightens up and it works great. I should have done this ages ago. The Axminster ones definitely have more pressure, but these are a fraction of the price. I made the bend on the second one slightly shorter, just so it goes through the bench a little easier. And as I mentioned, I didn't take the actual handle off, so the little split ring is still in the hole. So now, I think I'm just going to give up woodworking and become a blacksmith. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.